Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Uh, a little bit further in the game, I have unlocked a couple things. Uh, finally was able to unlock some spells to learn them, to like put them into my grasp so that I can learn. Alright, enough being obnoxious. Let's see, summoning, summon imps. These are, obviously should be tougher based off of the mana cost. Um, here's a summon of familiar, but it actually, it says sacrificing essence. This guy better be like, you know, the Hulk on steroids. And that's a crazy concept, to give up my essence. Uh, for now, I think we'll go with something that doesn't require me to give up my essence. I can theoretically get more. I'm gonna learn uh, summon bears. The bears. Quantity versus quality. I don't know what they're. All right, we'll put them in in that order just to learn them in the way we want. Uh, enchant farms, yes. Brilliance, yes. You notice I'm just double clicking, and they're just filling right on in. Arcane Armor, Arcane Weaponry, Imbue Hero, probably not. Uh, revive Land, to create further farm land. Um, it's actually a good enough reason to grab it. Uh, let's see, Dispel, no. Imbue Hero, transfers one essence so that they can cast spells. Um, at this point, that's not really uh, considerably that important to me all that much yet, which means I should probably do it, just part of the process. Target settlement or unit is immune from strategic spell effects, consumes an enchantment slot. So obviously they're thinking big picture, people casting spells on cities to affect it, like um, not fireball, that's tactical. Maybe lightning strike, no, that's tactical. Uh, and in this case, since we don't, we're not getting any real tactical or uh, any real things like that. Wait, stone skin with requiring air shard? That does not make sense. Stone skin makes sense in the earth shard, but could just be a glitch. I think we're going to have it research spells. No. I want to learn those first, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. We'll queue up a set. And let's see, so our monastery has been built in Aaron, and Dara is over here. And here we are, uh, going to save the game. King Karis the Second. Personally, I'd love for the uh, eventual overtime um, for the sovereign to pass his powers down to a future heir. Um, because as much as I like playing King Kyrus, I'd like to like be able to have go through the generational processes of uh, life and death through the kingdom. Um, you know, unless we wanted to become immortal somehow, that could even be an option. Who knows? All right, let's just zoom right in on this the spider and send our army after it. We have five. It has one. We have an attack of 26, it has an attack of 1. We've got a defense of 2 because we're all running around naked. Uh, well, except for the king. He looks snazzy in his pinstripe suit there. Or was it pimp stripe suit? Anyways, uh, defense 1, combat rating 23, combat rating 3. Since right now we do not have tactical battles open to us, we don't get to experience that. And that's okay, because guess what? They've been working their, their tail ends off on making that just fantastic. So, that being said, um, we'll get it when we get it. I'm not worried about it. These guys, Stardock has done an awesome job. So, let's auto-resolve and stab it with my spear. Not before it probably kills one of my guys. Preferably that noble idiot that I'm guiding home. I'm using him as a buffer. Hey, Janus leveled. Now we can point out, hey, well, as brilliant as, as you are, let's make you stronger. Uh, so our peasant took a point of damage and is still alive. I'm fine with that, too. We gain experience, so did some of they, and the fight went as just like that. Okay. Ooh, we have learned a new spell. Learn the next spell or increase knowledge. We are going to learn the next spell. 
Uh, as it is, I want to save the game because I want to cast that spell. First spell we've got. Summon Dub Bears. Now, I hear somebody on the forums wants a uh, bear cavalry. I think that's fantastically cool. Um, and maybe one day we'll actually see it before it even becomes a mod. Because if you think about, like, one of the things about good fantasy games um, that people get to really get into, it's when they have these creative monsters and, you know, cavalry. And eventually, I mean, you, you, I'm sure you'll have heard people say that they'd love to see, like, you know, air cavalry and things like that, an air force uh, that we can have, add to the game, an extra layer. And they've heard us. They, they know we are interested in it. It's not going to make it into this version, this live version. Um, but that could be a future mod enhancement, or it could even be part of the expansion pack coming out in February. Um, in the meantime, let's take a look back in the game. Zoom back out, wait for it to finish, you know, choking on the half pipe there. Hey, look at that. There's a guy up there. Ulerius. Ulerius. I, I didn't like him, so I, that's why I didn't pick him up before. So, I, I'm not going to hire a guy who's just there for food. Um... And after all that talk, I forgot to do the thing that I was looking to do. Cast a spell. Summon the bears. Let's see. Summon it into the army. And there's a bear. Uh, not sure why the bear is armed with a gnarled club. Uh, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be a... Uh, what do you call that? Um, a placeholder. Uh, so in the meantime, let's also summon an imp to join our army, uh, and they all seem to have the same stats. Okay, I'm fine with that. It'll take a couple turns for mana to rebuild back up, and mana is this little blue bar that goes right around the side here. Summon imp is used, and there's that. So placeholder creatures for our army. Okay, you're going to have to pardon me for a second, this music is... getting way overbearing. I'd love to be able to play some music, but when you do it with these, you gotta worry about copyrights and all that other stuff. And I really don't want to have any complaints. So, in the meantime, we'll keep playing with their music. Okay, back to the game. And I'll catch you guys up in a second, see where we're at. Go a little bit further. Unlock the door. This guy's like, hey, I'll come work for you. Well, you want to work for me, go to town. We uh, will usher the uh, the little guy in. Ooh, Book of Restoration. Hmm. Spellbook of Mastery. A Book of Summoning. I don't know what's actually going to be in all these. Uh, enchantments. Sounds neat, but I haven't found any enchantment crystals. Shard harvesting, I'm not anywhere near a shard, and I doubt I will be for a while. Combat magic is a little less important at this point, unfortunately, because there's no tactical battles. And that's okay. It's part of the game. I'm not stressing. You shouldn't either. You guys should bow down to the awesomeness that... It, okay, bow down is a little... Uh, you know, that, that may be in something the queen, of the, the queen of the Empire of Blood might have said. Um... I'm, as silly as this may sound, this is a very unlikely, rare find, so I'm going to learn the Book of Restoration, and we're going to learn the next spell. And speaking of learning, uh, we've learned a bit here, there's a couple things unlocking. Um, I really want to get us to increase our, uh, our doorways here, so we're going to open up uh, some more warfare, because there's just too much there not to learn. Zooming back out. Uh, I see that I still have the Alchemist Labs quest here nearby. And then uh, there's also uh, the treasure chest one over here. Um, let's see, is there anything that I've been neglecting to do? Neglecting? No. Um, trying to evaluate which would be the best option. Uh, yes. 50% research bonus. Or bonus gold. I'll be honest with ya, I need more gold. Hmm. Expand towards the 
ocean and expand off to the west of it, maybe? No. We'll just head east. And then we've got three space left, so depending on what we learn, it'll probably be either huts or the arch. Well, we've already got enough huts, so we may just add, may as well. Ooh. I'm not spending 100 gold yet. It costs too much. What's this? A treasure chest. It's trying to trick me into assuming that it'll be a good thing. I won't fall for it, and neither should you. Okay. Words, words, words. Alright, well, enough for that video. Catch you in the next one.